Okay, well, welcome back to live briefings. Um, Zoom has uh, successfully allowed us to have it back now. Um, I'll put out an email in the next uh, uh, today to make sure that everybody's aware. But yes, welcome to the live briefing for Monday, the 21st of November. The unsettled picture we have with a uh, low pressure system moving its way across from the Atlantic with uh, an occluded front uh, just about to start to track over us, bringing with it lots of rain and a fair amount of wind with it too. This week will continue to be unsettled with brief good spells. Uh, looking at, at tomorrow, it's still um, reasonably unsettled, but uh, hopefully less fronts. Wednesday, frontal. And uh, yeah, it just sort of stays that way a week. But what can I say? It is uh, typical for this time of the year. Winds at height, well, that's quite uh, uh, clear. You can see how quickly the wind is changing across the country, um, across the channel, looking like uh, westerly at 45 knots. Uh, more in the centre of the country, more of a southerly flow. Uh, we're probably somewhere between that. So, yeah, uh, sort of uh, south southwest, about 40 knots. Satellite picture over the UK uh, shows the frontal area just starting to track in, as you can see, uh, with a fair amount of cloud covering England and Wales. Um, clearer out to the west, but unfortunately, that clearance is unlikely to get to us particularly soon. Public forecast shows eight degrees being top temperature today, which is uh, quite cold actually. And as you can see on there, strong winds starting off easterly, going westerly, and uh, yeah, not really clearing through uh, today until much later. You can see overnight, uh, it's not too bad actually, uh, but it's going to be sort of mixed tomorrow. So uh, yeah, it's a case of making the best of the weather that we have. Yeah, that top temperature of eight degrees, dew points at around uh, sort of, yes, yeah, six degrees. And you can see the rain that's starting to progress across the country. And we'll take most of the day to clear. And with it, it will make the air feel very wet indeed. Currently at Lashley, we have a temperature of six degrees, nearly seven, and a dew point of five. And the picture outside, well, this is probably as good as it gets. But as you can see, the dark clouds are approaching and it's going to rain. Farnborough are currently reporting no clouds detected because uh, it's pre front. And uh, you can see for most of the day it shows bright clouds at 800 feet, heavy rain and drizzle, and strong winds throughout the day too. Odium's very similar and yeah, shows the rain between uh, nine and three today. Air space wise, we're looking at uh, not particularly much going on in our area, some flare firing at Rushmore, um, which must be quite close to the ranges. And yeah, number 16 is just the radioactivity at Boscom Downs, so not really anything to affect. And I'm not aware of any jet movements today um, at the moment. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any movements. I think uh, everybody's a bit concerned about the weather. Um, I think chances of flying today are pretty low uh, looking at that forecast. Um, it looks like the rain will probably not clear us till about three o'clock. And that's at the earliest. And what cloud is left behind is uh, uh, is, is going to be probably quite thick um, until uh, we might see an improvement tomorrow. So my suggestion is, is that you do other activities and uh, that we will see what the rest of the week brings us. Um, but yes, we're in that winter period now. So uh, we expect to lose a few days. The fact really is, is that we, we generally fly about 300 days of the year. So, uh, yeah, we're not actually doing too badly. All right, I'll be on the airfield mid to late morning. I'll see you then. Bye for now.